We'll start with the Mustard S70 wet fly, size 10. It actually has a special lead wire technique. We need a length of uh, extra fine lead wire, like so. And what we do is we need something round and uh, hard. I'm using one of my hair stackers here. And then what we do is we roll right and press down the hair stacker over the lead wire. Just on the end and release pressure as you go up. So we flatten the end and go up like so. That'll do us. So we take the lead wire by the flattened end and we hold that at the rear of the hook. Oops. Just like so. And then we can start to wind this forward. And as you go forward you will see that it increases in size and gives you a nice taper. on the underbody. That's enough, I'll just break that off. Push it together, that's good. And then I've got sheer 40 knot brown. I'll just attach that at the front here. Put a little stopper, slide our lead wire up. over the lead wire to the rear of the hook. So put a stop at the back, remove that. And what we want to do is spin our tying thread anti-clockwise to flatten it. That'll do us. Then we can split that. Like so. And I've got some bright green rabbit under fur dubbing. You can use any fur you like, uh, rabbit, squirrel, fox, as long as it's a natural fur. And what we want to do is start off with a little at the top and increase the amount of dubbing in the loop as we go towards the bobbin. So we get a nice taper on top here. So I'll just spread that out before I start spinning it. That'll do us, and then we'll spin that up. There we are. And then we could just tighten it. Wind it in. Catching the dubbing, like so, and then we can work our way forward over the tapered body. Gives an excellent body effect, it can be an excellent wet fly or a caddis pupa. We go forward, fold back the fibres, go in front. That's absolutely perfect. Get rid of the long ones, that's beautiful. Just as I like it. Then we need to spin our bobbin again, anti-clockwise, to give it a flat profile once again. Let me just split the thread. And I've got a tiny clip of squirrel hair uh, which we're just catching the ends like so a little bit too long so I can just use the edge of the clip to align them a little more precise like that and then we can spread them out a little spin our tying thread clockwise to make the dubbing brush And then we can 
wind the front tackle on and the great thing about these is you can tie them in any colour combinations you like and it makes a beautiful wet fly we take our whip finisher and just give that a couple of whip finishes remove our tying thread and if you wish you can pull out the super long ones but once it's wet it gives superb translucency in the water and they work beautifully if you enjoy the videos please like share subscribe and thanks for watching